Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then, a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? entered the park, please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left. Thank you. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. If you think I'm Nancy Drew, you're right. That's a relief. It's too early in the day to go sick in the cops on anybody. I'm Harlan Bishop. Must be pretty boring around here with the park closed. Not really. In fact, I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed. Even agreed to a pay cut. So you're not intimidated by all this curse stuff? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal and frankly, neither do I. So you think the carousel starts up by itself because some wires got damaged? Makes sense to me. Of course, I'm no expert, and Ingrid swears she can't find anything wrong with the carousel's electrical system. But then, I kind of think she doesn't want to. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky, new-age, psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. And Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact, she's your next stop. She is? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. Then I guess I'll go meet Joy. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. You know, as a security guard. In Flemington, not around here. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. I'll see you around. Have fun. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy.
Please don't open that. Sorry, bad habit. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Have you been out to the park? Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster, even if you can't ride it. First chance I get. Great. Feel free to inspect the tracks all you want. I'm sure you'll do a better job than the police. They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Santos. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hello. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. No hurry. If you're in the middle of something, please go ahead and finish up. That's okay. I'd just as soon get this little farce over. Excuse me? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? Is Ms. Santos aware of the way you feel about her? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Right. Um, I'm supposed to get an access card from you? Here you go. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Why? Is he temperamental? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturb you. Looking for someone? If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. I'm sorry, Drew. Nancy Drew. I'm helping Ms. Santos discover what's behind these carousel hauntings. Okay if I ask you some questions? Sure. Oh, my. You've got B3 issues. Okay. Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Harlan Bishop mentioned that some of your beliefs concerning food were somewhat unconventional. It just seems obvious to me that what you eat, as well as the psycho-spiritual conditions under which you eat it, results in what you are, that's all. Have you worked at Captain's Cove for very long? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. I've held the supervisory position for the last 10 months. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. Why would someone steal a carousel horse? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. Remember. Niacin.
Uh, I believe that's mine. Sorry, bad habit. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Uh-oh. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Hmm. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. It's locked. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. Do you really think I could handle it? It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place, which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long as you like. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way, he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. Thanks for your help. You bet. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. Ha ha. The carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator, doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Is he in danger of losing his job? Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up like fast, 
He's gonna be waving bye-bye, like, soon. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Who are you, and what are you doing? Who said that? I said that over here, on top of the cabinet. Keep going, over here. Please identify yourself. I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. Who programmed you? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? As a matter of fact, I need to leave a message for her. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So, who programmed you? Responding to the non-Joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. You know, I just had a thought. There's a newspaper article and photo in Joy's office that I want you to be sure to take a look at. They're in a frame on the wall. I may have seen them. What are they about? They're a little piece of park history. The guy in the photo found a bunch of jewels that had been stolen in a heist years ago and stashed away on one of the rides at Captain's Cove. The police said there was a good chance more jewels would turn up. Maybe that's why someone stole that carousel horse, because there were jewels hidden inside it. My thoughts exactly. I called the detective that was in charge of the investigation back then. His name is K.J. Paris. He's going to call you. Oops, I gotta run. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Uh-oh. Looks like it's out of order. If I play this game, I can win a seahorse. This takes a fun pass. You're about to play Swimmer's Itch. You have three fun credits left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. Squid Toss! In case you were wondering, you have two fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Oh, 
Ahoy, matey! Welcome to the Squid Toss. After this, you'll just have one fun credit left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hole. A game of squid toss. Uh oh, you are using your last fun credit, so I'm keeping your card. That's no problem. Just get a new one. Catapult the squid through the hoop. Hello? This is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said it concerned that heist out of Captain's Quarters 23 years ago? Well, I was thinking maybe the reason that horse was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove two weeks ago was because somebody thought there were jewels from that heist inside it. Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. Died in prison about a year ago. I'll tell you what. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. That would be fantastic. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. I'll see you around. Knock him dead. Well, Miss Destructo returns. You talked to Joy? Imagine my surprise when she told me you're a detective. Amateur detective. I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. How do you explain what's been going on around here? What do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. Do you have any idea who stole that horse off the carousel? Somebody who's into junk. That's odd. Ingrid said carousel horses can be very valuable. Well, when they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes. But I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Around 18, 20 years ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. And that's the horse that was stolen, the replacement? Right. The fact that the park is shut down must be kind of a relief for you. You mean because I'm behind in my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. Meeting deadlines has never been my forte. But I certainly hope you're not suggesting that I arranged for the park to be shut down by somehow manufacturing this curse thing, because that would be ridiculous. Ingrid said you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Been meaning to return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Great. Thanks. Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent, she's like invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that rent -a cop I've got no desire to see anything of him. Why do you say that? Dude is way too eager to make my business his business, that's all. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. Could I have some of these tissue strips? Be my guest. can use this to measure. Wow, 300 C 
64 feet. That's a lot of wood. May I help you? Mind if I look at this? No, go right ahead. A book on carousels. Cool. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. But then... It's nowhere near as dark as Joy's. Her aura's a mess. Why do you think that is? She's hiding something. And she's hiding from something. Something very big and very dark. Plus, she eats way too many carbs. <laughs> to say nothing of pencils. Any advice on how to go about fixing the Midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard. And unfortunately, I have no idea where it is. One of my guys probably left it in the park somewhere. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. I haven't finished repairing this yet. Better not take the tag until I fix this. There, that looks right. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks for your help. You bet. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you came to work here. In Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard-type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places, too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. I'll see you around. Go get them. This looks like one of Joy's. Ow! I'm trapped! Uh-oh! To 
get my foot loose. I need to switch. Looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Now I can turn the power on and see if these are properly connected. Need something? Do you ever talk to the other people who are working during the shutdown? I'm not very good at socializing. I couldn't even tell you what any of them look like, quite frankly. I go to work, I work, I go home. That's pretty much my life. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy, while you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. You were snooping around in here? Well, I came in here looking for you, yes, but... An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. I was just trying to do the job Ms. Santos asked me to do. I didn't know I was being watched. My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Why does he call himself the Magnificent Memory Machine? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party pooping stick in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long lost memories from my childhood. That sounds fascinating. I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so... not gutsy. Oh, what the heck. Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Don't give up yet. Maybe I'll turn up something in the course of my investigation. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream, know that? Come in, ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. I found this receipt on the floor. Looks like you bought a lot of basswood recently. I'll take that, thank you. I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters quarters captain's quarters maybe what about the word day captain's quarters day day spelled d-a-e as in sunday that's it there's this fantastic sunday you can get only at the hotel they call it a fun day it's been their specialty for like centuries comes with a souvenir spoon silvery as in spoon get it elliot you're a genius next riddle come on I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. I'll let you get back to work. <sighs> if you must.
Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good. Use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew? Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? I heard that there's a Sunday called a fun day that I can only get at this hotel. Could I order one? 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day silver dance bone coming right up. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Oh, that was so good. Hello? Hi, Nancy. KJ Paris. I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Don't you have a picture of her? You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No. My father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh, my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. You've probably forgotten everything about that time in your life because it was just too painful to remember. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. It's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. Don't give up yet. If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it. But I also kind of know I have to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. Time to start. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. Wonder what that is. If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered. There's something up there. Looks like a letter.
so, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in the ballroom. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. fishing, which means you're gonna have to call me back. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. If you could call me back, I'd really appreciate it. All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. It's locked. It's locked. What is that noise? <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from below. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Wonder what's on here. Uh, I'll just play it and find out. Looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. I better put this back where I found it. H about results. L H. Lance Huffington, maybe?
Wow, that's one expensive watch. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. And what did you tell her? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multimillionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Guerra's. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I'm not sure yet. Would you happen to know what prison he was in? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me any time. I'll let him know. Thank you. Hello? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. The keyboard is missing. game of Barnacle Blast. You have four fun credits left on your card. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship.
Hey, Nancy, what's up? I found some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Had you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Go get them. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. I discovered a hidden door in the haunted house. Is that right? Unfortunately, it's locked. It's obvious you don't put much stock in curses. But a word to the wise? There really do exist some doors that no one should open. I'd be very careful if I were you. I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. What did you talk to him about? Look, what are you getting at? I was just wondering if maybe you and he are in cahoots. Are you suggesting that he and I planned the accident? He gets on the coaster, I shut off the power, he cries whiplash and gives me half of whatever he gets from the lawsuit? Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? Because you seem to have a lot of money, far more than the park pays you. I can't help but wonder where it's coming from. All right. I have been making money on the side. But it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This guy knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. I need to turn the iron on. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Hello? This is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the Captain's Quarters Hotel. What happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. You're at an amusement park, not a formal dance. What on earth were you ironing? A piece of paper.
A what? No, never mind. I don't want to hear it. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. I need to turn the iron on. Hello? This is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the Captain's Quarters Hotel. What happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. You're at an amusement park, not a formal dance. What on earth were you ironing? A piece of paper. A what? No, never mind, I don't want to hear it. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. A band organ is what usually plays the music you hear when you ride a carousel. And a mouth organ is a harmonica. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel? It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Is that all you can tell us, Miles? I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. <sighs> it's all yours, Detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You're the greatest. This is Tink. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? That's between me and Miss Santos, I'm afraid. How do I know you even know Miss Santos? Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Miss Santos. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Where is the third roll? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. Are all the rolls of music in the cabinet? That's right. 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're gonna have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here on the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, and I gotta go! See, Miles said the song is on the third roll. This must be it. This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano.
The take-up dowel is broken. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles? Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Wow, a lathe. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Better leave these goggles here. goggles here. I can use this to measure. I can use this to measure. I can use this to measure. That doesn't look right.
That doesn't look right. Better leave these goggles here. Looks perfect. Better leave these goggles here. I need to tape them to the pipes. I need to tape, I need to tape them to the pipes. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks for your help. No big deal. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. I need to tape them to the pipes. I need to tape these down. I need to tape these down.
It's a poppy dada. guys never down. Maybe I should too. Sukov. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the Collector's Hot Sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I wondered if you could answer a question or two for me. I'd be delighted. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Thanks for all the info. The pleasure was all mine. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Knock him dead.
Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks for your help. No big deal. You never know when you might need some tape. Turn this off. I better turn this off. go to Harlan's he sounds mad I better go to Harlan's he sounds mad I just got off the phone with Miss Santos 
Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? She called you? Of course she called. She hired me because she thought I deserved a second chance. She wanted to make sure I hadn't betrayed her trust. Which I hadn't, by the way. I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous, too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. that song. I did ride the carousel over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You loved the carousel and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? <sighs> I can't remember. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? That's interesting. The park must have a record of that transaction. I haven't seen it, but you're right. It must be around here somewhere. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be right here. Mind if I do a little more snooping? Go ahead and look around. Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. Hmm, looks like stenography. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. It's locked. That symbol looks familiar. Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. What was that?
The name of the carousel horse is Glory. Any luck? I know the name of that carousel horse your mother bought you. Glory! Glory! That's right! Glory! My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. Your mother was the one who bought that horse. I wonder what happened to it. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the magnificent memory machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Tink's the guy who runs a carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. That answer your question? According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. You threw it out? You mean in the garbage? He said it was a book he and his kid used to read. But hey, Daryl Trent was dead. I never met the kid, and the book was boring. So what was the point? I need to find out Amelia's nickname. Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Have fun fishing. Oh, I will. Sukov. Hi, it's Nancy Drew again. I have another question for you about Rolf Kessler. A very important question. Let's hear it. 
Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatzi. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Are any of Kessler's other carousels thought to be haunted? No, the one at Captain's Cove is a first. But I think I know what's going on. Someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The Internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. Always happy to share my mental wealth. I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Joy has stepped out of the office. Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew entity is welcome. Joy has stepped out of the office. Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew entity is welcome. Looks like Spook 10 is missing an arm. It's been red tagged. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'll see you around. Have fun. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind that hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose. I don't know. But they prove nothing. I do know that. There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. It's locked.
Better not take the tag until I fix this. I need a tool to attach this arm. That looks tight enough. I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You have really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Go get him. Must be glory. Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. Oh my gosh, these must be jewels from that jewel heist. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you love the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did, Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. I should probably take these with me. So this was Kessler's workshop. Somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen.
Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well. Little icing on the cake. That's right. You want them? Here. Ouch! Hey! I've got to get out of here. I'm trapped! I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. have reached 555-4468. I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale-watching on the tour boat she owns. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. This is going to be awesome. Bye.